Download GlassWire at GlassWire.com to see what apps are slowing down your network and wasting your bandwidth. GlassWire shows when a new app is accessing the network. Head to GlassWire's usage window to see what apps and servers your PC is connecting with. Go to the Firewall tab and block bandwidth wasting apps. GlassWire can also detect and uncover other malware and privacy violating apps by visualizing your network activity. Try GlassWire for free at GlassWire.com and you'll be surprised at how much bandwidth you are using. Hey guys, what's up? This is Kevin the Tech Ninja, and my goal with this PC build is stay around 1500 bucks and be able to play 4K games on ultra settings at 60 frames per second. Did we succeed? Well, let's find out. Here is what we put in it. The motherboard we went with is the Gigabyte GA7170X. We put in an Intel i7-6700, which is four gigahertz, Corsair Vengeance RAM 16 gigabytes, there you go. Oh, that's a satisfying click. <laughs> Samsung 850 Evo, 250 gigabytes. Corsair 850 watt fully modular ATX power supply. Corsair 600C ATX mid tower case. And also the last part is optional as it takes us over 1500 bucks, but this is the H110i GTX liquid CPU cooler. The total package is $1,518. And with the cooler tacked on, you add an extra $100. If we have enough likes, we'll go ahead and pick up that 1080 video card and then we'll put it in this build as well. So go Ike Turner on that like button. All right, so let's dig into some benchmarks. We're using the Acer Predator XBN321HK G-Sync gaming monitor. We had V-Sync and G-Sync turned off for all games because of the 60 Hertz cap on the Predator monitor. Even if we had it turned off, we weren't seeing anything past 60 frames per second anyways. So leaving it on gave us a better gaming experience. The way I'm breaking this down is that I'm providing overclocked and non-overclocked average frames per second. The CPU was overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz, which is 600 megahertz faster than stock. The GPU we were able to get to 1361 megahertz, which is 120 megahertz faster than the already boosted speeds. This 980 Ti we selected comes factory overclocked with two cores that can be accessed using Gigabyte's very own OC Guru. So we overclocked the already overclocked GPU to get even better performance. First up is Just Cause 3. Just Cause is known for its non-stop action, crazy sequences, and open world action. To complete this benchmark, we ran the same sequences three times on the same settings. Then we took the average FPS from that sequence. Now due to the randomness of the game, we felt that the average system was best. As we do with all games, we bumped the game up to its highest setting on 4K. On very high, we had an average of 42 frames per second, and the overclocked on high, we were getting an average of 51 frames per second. The next game was Forza 6 Beta. And we were pretty much locked at 60 frames per second the whole time. So this one was actually a win. Once again, our goal was to get to 60 frames per second, and so we're able to do that with G-Sync and V-Sync turned on. The last game we'll discuss in this video will be Quantum Break with 1.7 patch.
And kind of a side note, Quantum Break is the best looking game on PC in my opinion. On max setting with upscaling on, we got 31 frames per second for the average, and then when we overclocked it, we got 35 frames per second. We also did Grand Theft Auto 5 and Dark Souls 3, but for the sake of time, we have the scores listed in the write-up. If you want more information about this build or even some additional pictures, hit the link down below for the full write-up on my website. Aesthetically, this setup is really pleasing to the eye. The video card, you can change the colors and you can change how it displays the colors using their software. You can make it flash or even breathe. Also, the HJ110 I has its own color utility too, which lets you theme out your insides. The Corsair 600C case is upside down, which makes for a unique look. The motherboard has an LED on the IO plate, and just overall, it looks dope. Once again, guys, this is our second computer build. Please give us suggestions and ideas, as this is something we're looking to do one build every single month. And hopefully the next time you see us, we'll have the 1080 in hands and we'll have a nice build ready to go. Hit the links down below for the build guide. And once again, a big thanks to B&H for letting us borrow these parts for the builds. My name is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys later.